Now we're doing a technique called salt and you can see I'm using a piece of leftover paper. Remember how I said don't throw any paper away? So it's always good for sampling or doing other things. The salt technique is another one that is wet. So it's real wet technique. And there's some people say don't do this because it's hard on the paper. But I don't know. I don't think it's that hard on it. I'm, I do it. You could use more than one kind of salt like the kind you put on your on your front walk to keep the melt down the ice or you can try anything you can try I would say try anything you, you know the spices in the house see what happens when you do this so and I'm also doing this as kind of a composite color thing so let's see what happens I'll throw something a little something different in there too and so you get it like that that's a good sample size right to get a little painting out of for our portfolio then you shake the salt on there and you can see it starts doing stuff already and once you've done that you have to let it dry absolutely completely dry and then you just dust the salt off of there and see what you come up with so this is a good technique. There was a while I was uh, doing some things with alligators. Well, this is a this could help me out. For instance, with alligator skin or bark on a tree or, or lots of things, stone. Anyways, you see where it fits the painting that you're doing.